In this situation right now, you don't have to tell them anything about your life that you don't want to say. You're just yeah. saying, hey, find out about them. He's going to date someone who's been married three times. You know what? If any of these guys in here is going to actually invest in you and invest in finding out who you are and get underneath the character that they think they know, that is when we might get somewhere. So in the moment, I think you just go in there and you just go and ask them about themselves. Okay. Just be friendly. Should we go and chat to them? I'll come with you. Let's go together. Come on. Find out about them and don't reveal too much about yourself. You've got this, Keza. Hello, boys. Hi. What's your name? James. James. How old are you? Uh, 24. Aww. So lovely to meet you. I'm going to move on. Wow, well, slow down, Keza. Have you left the oven on or something? How are you? Oh, would you? Well, that is side. What about it? Side it's lovely. And what brings you here? Should we tell her it's not speed dating? Fun. And have you been married before? Engaged? Kids? But apart from that, I think she really likes you, mate. I shit you not. I've got a 17-year-old, a 15-year-old, 11-year-old, 10-year-old and a 4-year-old. Sam, I don't even like fucking kids. <laughs> ah, looks like she got over that then. Five children. Oh dear. Three ex-husbands. Three different dads. Bear with me one minute. Okay. I know she hasn't listened to a word you've said, Anna, but that is mightily impressive. What is it you're looking for? I am like I need someone that's like really mature. Okay. Knows what he wants. I want someone to take In control. control. I need a man. You've come to the right pair here. Yeah. Right. Just go out and be yourself and have fun. Great advice, but is anyone going to mention the ex-boyfriend who's currently next door? So before you go into to have your little mingle, we should probably tell you that um, on our books, there is someone that you know. We do have Pete here. Pete Wicks. Yeah. I think what she's trying to say is, oh, fuck it out! We just had another celeb joined the agency. She just arrived. Yeah. All right. It's your ex, Megan. Who's now a new client at the agency. OK. Fuck. Mate, I ain't spoke to Megan in over a year. Better bite the bullet and speak to her. Hi. How are you? Sorry, mate. How are you? You good? Yeah. I'll let you guys crack on. Don't worry. Let's play out. Yeah, mate, best you get out of there. Well, I didn't expect to see you. <laughs> it's been a year. Do you know what? Like, I would rather it not be um, awkward. Like, I, on a serious level, I've seen you out for a long time now. I thought you would say hello to me, but you haven't. And you haven't said hello to me either. Well, you, but you've always been with a group of people, and I've always been on my own, so... Don't well, start I'm... on me already. Oh, oh shut stop. up. How's your night been? Seen him in your life? That's fucking awkward. Why is that awkward? All right, fine then. The boy in the blue jacket over there. Oh, the guy who looks up peak wicks with a haircut. The suit jacket. Yeah, that's about yeah. I can see what that. Do you mean that's about what? No, I can see that. That's a good and thing. And I like the boy with the long hair with the white shirt on over there. Oh, the guy who looks up peak wicks without a beard. Didn't think you liked long hair. But. I'm not gonna cramp your style because it's not particularly good for you when you're trying to come against really someone your ex-boyfriend talk to. So I'm gonna leave you okay. to it. All right? But lovely to see you. Good luck, not that you need it, alright? Thank you. See you later, Pete. Well, that wasn't awkward. I'm fucking dead. Looking good for it.